Alright, so our adventure begins here on an island known as Outset Island. Yeah, this is the island where Link, as well as his sister and grandma, live on. And here we can see their house, as well as Link's sister. And uh, she's actually calling out for Link, because today is a big day, and I'm so excited to jump into this game. I remember the first time playing this game, I was in complete shock with how different it was compared to the previous Zelda games, and a good example would be Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask was a game I played prior to playing the original version of this game, and uh, I'll be honest, I was kind of salty looking at the graphics. Uh, I actually got really upset, and I'm like, Psh, I'm not playing this game, and uh, put it off for like a year until my aunt came back and started playing it. And then I realized, whoa, this is a Zelda game. Why am I not playing it? Is the graphics really going to scare me that much? And then I realized how dumb it is. And now I just love the graphics for what it is. It has a really nice charm to it. And uh, I don't know why I turned it down when I was younger. But I knew you'd be here. Yeah, Ariel somehow uh, snuck up to actually hurt favorite spot because yeah this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea when I play with the gulls I call it Ariel's lookout so do you remember what day it is today uh, I don't think he does you're still half asleep aren't you did you forget forget what big brother it's your birthday holy crap link forgot his birthday what a surprise <laughs> yeah uh, not really but that's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. I honestly don't know how one could forget their birthday, but if there were to be someone, it would be Link. It's a good thing I came to find you. Alright, you should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? I guess we'll do just that. But yeah, now let's go ahead and get started. One thing I love about this game, and I'd say kind of changed the way Zelda games felt, uh, is the 360 camera control. Uh, I remember, that, yeah, this was the first Zelda game to have it, and pretty much no other Zelda game has gotten this awesome feature besides Twilight Princess HD and the GameCube version of Twilight Princess. So I guess you could say Twilight Princess. It's just the Wii version that didn't get it. And when you really look at it, I consider the Wii version to be the not official version of the game, even though that's the only one I played and not the GameCube. Uh, though obviously I played the HD version, which is a lot like the GameCube, kind of like this one. But uh, in terms of remakes, and I don't know why I let go to go up, I'm used to clicking A to climb up. Uh, just, you know, different games. Uh, that's one problem with uh, playing many different games at once that actually all act alike as well. Uh, it's kind of hard, especially if they have different controls. One issue I have is going from playing a game like this to... You could even say Dark Souls because uh, you have to use the bumpers instead of the actual buttons to hit. And to me, uh, it takes a while to get used to if you've been playing one game for a lot and then come back. But uh, you end up getting muscle memory of every game. But that's aside the point. Uh, in general, as I was saying, this is by far my favorite remake in terms of remake. Go. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite game per se, but I love the remake because they've added so much to it. So many new features, so many things that this game is just so fun and always to come back to. And it makes the GameCube one almost unplayable nowadays with how good this one came out. I, at least that's my opinion. But Hoi Link, press ZL right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. Uh, okay, hi. So that's correct, you're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. Okay, now he's gonna go ahead and go through the whole Zelda, you know, thing where, you know how to control and stuff. He's gonna teach us how to use the 3D Zelda controls, and I believe if you come up into his house, he will be even happier so he can teach you more things when it comes to the controls. I don't really want to do this, but I thought I'd show it off. So you're growing up, Link, which means you're going to need much more wisdom as you can get from this point forward. Nah, all I need is strength, and in reality, that's all Link really needs. He needs no wisdom. Uh, actually, he needs courage, right? But in reality, he doesn't as long as he's given the Triforce of Courage, so he really needs nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore though what he has to say because I'm pretty sure he is going to tell us that we can uh, check out the stuff on the wall. And oh, something happened that shook the whole house. Oh, he's mad. Such a racket. 
Can you keep quiet? You've knocked everything from my shelves. You drafted Hooligan. Oh man, he's mad. Uh, honestly, the Hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother who lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day, every day, the lout just exercises and practice with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No! The brain's a muscle too, I, I think. Okay, so this smart man filled with wisdom doesn't even know what a brain is, but uh, I, I, it's not a muscle, right? Actually, I, now, now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> so I'm making fun of this. I'm, it's not a muscle. There's no way it's a muscle. So yeah, this guy's an idiot, but maybe this guy has a muscle for a brain. I mean, look at that. He's been going to the gym lifting. Oh my, just with the brain, lifting them books, guys. Well, he goes to the library, actually. Scratch that, not the gym. He goes and gets his gains on from the library. If only I could be like that. <laughs> but okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so this area is kind of useless, actually. Uh, I, I, I was just here so I could show off this. You can uh, learn how to, you know, play the game and learn how certain things work. If you're new to Zelda, this might come and help in handy I mean I don't know I don't think it will if anything it's considered like the game's guide a uh, virtual guide within the game instead of having to have a manual uh, you know on the game's box especially if you downloaded this like I did but I totally forgot that our grandma is waiting so let's go ahead and speak to her first uh, like Ariel said which is Link's sister and then we'll get started but uh, yeah I just can't help but like walk around and just have fun with the NPCs they're so interesting and and funny but uh, let's just get on with the actual point right now and it is to speak to our grandma so I've been waiting for you Link Link try these on uh okay Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. <gasps> and we got ourselves the hero's clothes. Yay! They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Uh, is That's not that bad, right? Link looks super disappointed, though. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It's a day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. So 10, right? <laughs> Wouldn't Link be 10 years old then? Uh, you only have to wear them for one day, so don't look down. Be proud, child. Or right, whoever is 10, then good for you. You are the age of Link. You are the age of the hero uh, that they speak of. But um, that's actually really young when you do think about it. I always imagined Link was like a little ab above that age, but I'm pretty sure the hero of time as an adult is 17. And he was in the um, the Chamber of Sages for seven years, so it would make him ten, right? So, yeah, in the olden days, this was a day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. I like that, um, the references, and it is very similar to actually what Link did in Ocarina of Time, because that is what she's referencing, so... We don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Orca is actually the one uh, that is making all the commotion inside the big brain guy's house. I'm just gonna call him big brain guy. Because uh, I, 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 Orca's brother, there you go. But anyways, hanging the, shield, the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. And Link has put it on, looking all snazzy. So, does this all make sense to you? I guess. Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for tonight. Mmm. I know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister Ariel. I'm actually not looking forward to the soup. Uh, no offense, grandma, but nobody likes your soup. Seriously, that's all you make, grandma. Make something else. I want real food, grandma. 
<laughs> Stab! Uh. Also, one thing I really like about uh, this game is the option to turn into first person. I think it's pretty cool to actually take the game in in first person, especially with how beautiful the visuals actually are. Uh, so to walk like this, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to come. How do I do this? How do I do this? Well, you just press in the camera stick, which is uh, the, I guess you could say R3. If you play like a PlayStation game, then yeah, R3. Uh, I don't know if it goes like that for Xbox or the Wii U. I just know that you use R3 quite a bit. Uh, in the PlayStation games I play, which I own at PS3 and 4, uh, and I play it a lot for those who don't know. More than I play the Wii U, I only play the Wii U when I'm playing this, or Twilight Princess HD, or not even Hyrule Warriors, I kind of stopped. But hey, I took Grandma's life savings, yes, there was an orange rupee underneath this chest, and now it's mine, and now Grandma is gonna go bankrupt and she can't even invite everybody over, cause, uh, she has no money to even do anything. But then again, this... The uh, whole island doesn't really need money. It seems like everybody's a community and maybe they share with each other or something Because I mean there's only like a handful of people uh, in total But I just realized we can get ourselves a lot of money right now So here is a pig and I'm pretty sure an NPC uh, Within this island is going to show us how to pick up a pig and it is by crouching crawling to them and then picking them up That way you kind of you know went all solid snake mode and snuck up to them and they didn't see you and there you go now let's go ahead and talk to madame uh i just want to call her madame piggy i mean she likes pigs uh, she kind of looks like one too so yeah why did you bring that little piglet all the way here just for me oh thank you thank you so much i've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now the boys will be so happy when they get home you sweetie oh link hold your hand this is your reward don't spend it all in one place. And it is 20 rupees. You know what? I'm going to spend it all in one place. So too bad. Uh, so yeah, she likes pigs. And there are, I want to say, about three uh, scattered throughout the island. Actually, here is the NPC I was speaking of. So if you go ahead and speak to him, he'll say, I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Oh, see? Look, that black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife is telling me. Oh, okay. So he is married to Miss Piggy. So I guess we know what we need to do. Let's go ahead and help him get another pig. I wish I had bait to distract uh, it with. You could use bait to distract the pig, or you could do what I'm going to do again. Or you could just run up to them and kind of corner them and then pick them up. I mean, that's honestly the easier way to do it. The game does have other ways, but I mean, if you really want to use your mind, uh, it's a lot easier than it seems. <laughs> but we should be heading to our sister Ariel. I am getting sidetracked quite a bit, but... I don't care, I can use the rupees, and I want to start out strong. I mean, we're going to be 100%ing this game, even down to the Nintendo Gallery, which is something I've never done. I did do 100% Let's Play of this game, but I never included the Nintendo Gallery. Some people might say, oh, that's not 100%, but it was so optional that I didn't really consider it. Plus, I didn't really think about it at the time. But now, I want to take as many selfies with as many NPCs as I can. So, yeah, do expect me to cover all of the Nintendo Gallery as well as everything else within this game. Because, uh, yeah. And also, speaking of which, hey, look, it's Booger Boy. Hi, dude. How, how, how's the... How's the nose? How's the nose treating you? With, what? How? Like, I don't understand. Just get a tissue. Wipe your freaking face on the floor. Jump into the... what? Come here. Come here. All right, let's just... Give him a well-deserved shower. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Now he's c not okay. You know what? Just get away from me. I can't clean this guy. This guy's booger is like, yeah, it just it cannot fall. It is so strong, attached to his nose. That is disgusting, but also hilarious. Uh, and speaking of hilarious, check this out. I got a pig. I don't know how that's funny, but uh, if I add a laugh track, it's funny, right? Hey guys, I got a pig. <laughs> Honestly, it, I thought it was pretty funny, so yeah, that was, wow. I, d I didn't know how much a laugh track really does. <laughs> Honestly though, I hate TV shows with laugh tracks like sitcoms that have them. Honestly, can't stand, I mean, don't get me wrong, not all of them. I do, en I enjoyed How I Met Your Mother. Uh, f w what was it? That 70s show is actually really good, so never mind. I don't hate them but I dislike the majority of them because a lot of them just have really corny jokes when they force that laugh track. Like, hey, 
here you go, Miss Piggy. Another pig, cause you're a pig. <laughs> oh yeah, that was just great, right guys? I bet that sounded really dumb, but I bet the laugh track made it funnier, right? See, I have yet to edit it, so I don't even know how funny I am. You know, I bet I'm super funny with the laugh track. Like uh, right now, what is with your face, Miss Piggy? Why, uh, you you look dumb. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, let's just, I'm gonna stop now, and let me pick up this red rupee, and, uh, is that it? Okay, so, uh, what should I name these little oinkers? Call this one, uh, Spot, call that one Pinky, and call this one Dinky, and there you go, those are the names, I made them up, and, uh, I, th I think they're amazing. I'll come back and check up on Pinky, Dinky, and Spot, and see how they're going, but, now we have quite a bit of rupees on us, which is nice, and, um, you know what? To celebrate, I'm gonna go ahead and spend some of my allowance that I stole from everybody slash uh, earned from Miss Piggy. I mean, I earned a good amount from Miss Piggy, if anything. But let's go ahead and check out this shop here. This is known as Beetle's Shop. Hello, Beetle. How's it hanging, man? I actually really like the way his shop looks. And his uh, boat looks really nice. I like the interior of it. Uh, it's really simple, but has a nice homey feel to it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> just looking at everything and like observing because I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I, I can't help it. Every time I replay through these games, I still gush over how nice it is and everything because I'm just a fanboy. But here he sells a bait bag. With this bait bag, we can put bait in it. And I mean, that's a good, that's a good thing, honestly. I'm glad I got this. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and buy, ooh, we got a point saved up. Also, yeah, he has his own memberships thing, uh, kind of like, you know, GameStop with their members reward cards that uh, I use but never once got anything from. I don't know why I have that card, but I have it. And um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that I ever even applied for it because I don't know what to do with it. I don't really like buying from GameStop, uh, to be completely honest. And that's mainly because I like to buy everything I can from Amazon. I don't need to, you know, be like Link and find Beetle and then head up to him. I'd rather just order everything and sit on my butt and not have to move it all and have it come straight to my doorstep. That's actually not the reason. I'm not necessarily that lazy. Maybe. But the point is um, that... It's just a lot easier to shop, and that's the reason why I do it. So yeah, that is my excuse, guys. And hey, look, another pig. Let's go ahead and take it to Miss Piggy. We'll call this one Rocky. <laughs> uh, I was telling you in my head. Whatever. Okay. Now, uh, I guess we should do what we were supposed to do a while ago. Grandma is most likely going to be pretty upset that we are taking a while. And that is let our sister know that... Uh, I guess we have to head back or something? I don't know, we'll just show her the new outfit we got from Grandma, our birthday suit. This is literally my birthday suit, so pretty excited. But there she is looking up, and the gulls were playing with her as she mentioned, but ah, hi big brother. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? Yeah, it sucks. But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. Yeah, I mean, it, how hot must it be? It must be like over 100 degrees, yet Link is wearing a hat and long sleeve and all of that. But whatever. I guess they're pretty neat, though. <laughs> she came to terms with it, but... So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a moment? Okay. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. What kind of... What? Happy birthday! Okay, I didn't even get a chance to to close my eyes and hold out my hand, but hey, we got ourselves a telescope. Sweet, thank you. And it actually has goals on it, like little stickers or something. I don't know how she'd get it on there. Maybe she painted it, because uh, I don't know if stickers exist. Actually, I don't really know like how technology works in Zelda, because some games there are uh, some form of it, and some other games there's none of it. So yeah, I mean here, this game has a, a pictograph thing, so. Yeah, but, uh, so, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out? Right now, try looking over there from here. Or at the house. Okay, I guess we should look over at our house. But to do so, we must equip it first. And now pull it out. So, yeah, we gotta use a telescope. Uh, big brother, are you using, yeah, L to zoom in? Let's go ahead and do that. Or rather, the control stick. And, 
What's this weird looking bird man? Also icy looking out, but that bird man looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Yeah, he kind of does. I mean, he has a beak and wings. Ah, Link! The sky! Look up in the sky! Uh, what's happening? Oh my god! Yeah, it's a giant bird. And it's holding a girl. I can't help but think this is the dumbest thing ever. I mean, chucking giant rocks when the person you're trying to save is not only captured by the thing you're trying to hit, but is so far up in the air that falling seems so dangerous. Like, what are they doing? But... Boom. Right in the face. And just as expected, she drops into a paper forest. Link, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in without something you can use to defend yourself with. What do you suppose? What do I... Okay, so then what do I do? Are you just going to sit there worried looking there? Are you kidding me? So she's suggesting for me to check up on her, but she won't give me advice. Maybe what she means is I need to use my telescope to fend off evil. And honestly, looking at it, I mean, it looks like it could work, right? I don't know. Maybe it will, or maybe it won't. I highly doubt it, but thank you all so much for watching the first episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Have been Zelda Master. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll catch you all in the next one as we make our way into the paper forest. <laughs>